Hello world, it's Siraj and NVIDIA is terrified of this new AI chip that Intel just released. It's called the Xeon processor and the associated AI accelerator. And the reason that NVIDIA is so afraid is because when tested out on Llama 2 benchmarks, it performed 50% faster and 50% cheaper when it came to training these models. And the source of that information is stability.ai. We can see those benchmarks right here where they tested it out on a bunch of different multimodal diffusion transformers and they found that it was 50% faster and 50% cheaper. NVIDIA is terrified of that because the whole ecosystem is locked in with CUDA and there needs to be less of a monopoly. There needs to be more options in the environment. There needs to be more of an availability for developers to build on different chips. Intel has just released that chip. And in this video, we're going to talk about that chip. I'm going to explain a little bit about how it works. And then we're going to deploy our own AI model to our own infrastructure, our own AWS infrastructure that allows us to create our own personal assistant. And what we're going to use for that AI is Meta's Llama 3 model, which they recently released a few months ago. And it is still a state of the art in open source foundation models. And we're going to fine tune this Llama 3 model on my YouTube videos to make it into a personal assistant that I can use. And we're going to deploy it to my AWS account. And we're going to use all my YouTube videos as training data for that. And all of this is going to be trained using the new Intel chip, the new Gaudi processor. And it's going to be cheaper and it's going to be faster than NVIDIA. So let's uh, talk a little bit about this chip that Intel just released. So H100s are in very, very high demand right now. Everybody wants them. Zuckerberg's, you know, building a million of them. Everybody's building them and they're in short supply. So this is a good alternative to an H100. We can use an AI accelerator as a GPU alternative. And they work with the CPU, which is called Xeon. It's the new generation of Xeon that works together. So no CUDA, no CUDA licensing costs. If you have an existing GPU code base, you can migrate it in a few lines of code. PyTorch supports it, TensorFlow. We'll talk a little about the libraries here, but essentially it's very easy to switch between this Intel Gaudi accelerator and your existing GPU workflow. And it works with one node or thousands of nodes, so it scales and it's price performant with the H100. It's actually better in, in terms of cheaper when it comes to training Llama 2 models and Llama 3, which we're gonna do in this video. Intel really has a long history of, they literally invented Moore's law, right? Which is law that computing power doubles every year. And in this case, you can see that floaty point operations, which are used in AI matrix operations, are two times faster for floating point eight models and then four times faster for floating point 16 models. What does that mean? That means different ranges of compute density. How much information are we packing into this stream of neural network processing chipset that we're using? And the most important part here is that it's freedom to scale without vendor lock-in. And NVIDIA really has monopolized this market. And we really need to break up the monopoly and allow for a democratized AI ecosystem. And whatever type of application that we're building with this, it's going to work with this system, whether it's 3D generation, video generation, text, image, audio, any data modality is going to work on the Intel chipset, just like it does on the NVIDIA chipset. And it's going to be faster and it's going to be cheaper. This architecture of this new accelerator it has many more tensor cores and tensor cores are specifically designed to process the type of computing operation that neural networks use and that is in a little wrap input times weight at a bias activate it's very simple how it works this chip is designed for that so that's a little bit about the chip. It runs any type of AI model. It runs PyTorch. Let's get right into building something with it because I like doing actionable things with information. So we know that Intel just released Gaudi 3. It's a great GPU alternative accelerator. We don't have to use CUDA. It's cheaper. Great. Okay, what do we do with this? 
The next step is for us to train our model on the cloud. So let's find a suitable cloud provider. And I'm gonna set a timer here to do this in less than five minutes. And the first one that you might wanna look at is Intel's own developer cloud. And what I've done is I've requested an instance and it's pending review because I just did it today, but they're pretty fast with acceptance. So you should submit here the trial on body three. But for now, since we don't have access to the latest preview version on the developer cloud, we're going to use AWS directly. So we're going to run this AWS instance. This is still a way for us to try out the model on Intel hardware and avoid NVIDIA for now to see what it's like. So let's get right into how we're gonna do this, okay? So the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to launch our new instance. And that instance is going to be dedicated to this Intel processor and to fine tuning Llama 3 on my YouTube videos. So we're gonna call it Llama 3 Fine Tune Intel. And I'm going to now find that in my AWS dashboard under EC2. What we are creating here is a new computing instance. And a lot of cloud providers are trying to make this easier for you like Vercel and others, but really we all wanna use AWS. We should all be using AWS because it's cheaper and it's really the source of all these other startups Heroku comes to mind. And I know it's easier for beginners to start off using other services, but ultimately we should be using AWS directly. So once we create a new instance, it's gonna ask us what the machine image is. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to try to find that instance type and I need to be in the right region. I need to be in US East one to do this properly. So I'm going to find that instance and I've, found the AMI image that I need in the right region. You have to always remember that the region is very important to AWS. If you don't have the right region, then you won't get the right AMI. And I found a bunch of great AMIs here. I'm gonna use this one, which uses the Gaudi. And I'm gonna subscribe now to this instance. And that is going to create a new version of that it's connected to it i'm going to launch the instance it's going to create a new key pair and that is going to authenticate me to this instance and i'm going to actually proceed without a key pair and that is now creating my intel instance and now once we have that instance we can run our code to fine tune llama 3 on my youtube videos and how do we do that i asked chat gpt 01 preview of course to do all that in a single class file of python it was able to do that in this file right here so it's using the hugging face library to fine tune llama 3 on my youtube videos by just feeding it a single google drive link and then it's going to fine tune on all of that data by transcribing it to txt and then using that as a fine tuning trainer object in the hugging face library to create this final version. And all of this is done in a single Python file. And we can run this inside the browser without any words. Let me just show you exactly how to do that. So if we go to instances, If we go to connect in our instance state, we can then connect to that instance in the browser. And once we've connected inside of the browser, then we can just paste in our Python file and run it. So we're gonna type in nano, and then we're gonna call this script finetuner.py. And we will copy the code for that into the new file. And now we can run it. And that's now running on our new instance. And it's gonna install all the necessary packages that are necessary, and it'll run that script all in one go. Thanks to ChatGPT01 Preview's amazing ability to create working Python code in one shot. 
And that lets us train our own AI model. And we can run this locally. We host it on our own instance. And this is a very cheap, actually, right? A few bucks a month. And we have our own AI fine tuned on our own data. Very useful stuff. Thank you for watching this video. Thank you, Intel, for sponsoring this video. I'm proud to be an Intel ambassador. Check out helpful links in the video description. If you like the video, smash the like button. It really helps promote the video. Hit the subscribe button. And for now, I've got to keep training my AI model. So thanks for watching.